So, I originally made a, or I should actually say tried to make a video for this channel uh, through my OBS and trying to do it through Premiere, and Premiere decided to be a dick and wouldn't upload the file. So now I'm trying to do it the old-fashioned way of recording it on Twitch and then bringing it on over to <laughs> YouTube from there. So, unfortunately, well, let me show you what the little box looks like now. I can't reach. It looks a little like a jumbled mess. So, doing another unboxing of it would be counterintuitive. But anyhow, what I can do is I have everything that was in the box right here next to me. So, I could just do it that way. So, I, I remember what order I did, and so it's not that hard. Okay, I almost thought, where'd the shirt go? But, I found that. So, anyway, the first thing that came out of the box was, of course, the little pamphlet saying, hey, this is what's going to be inside your box. And also has details on what the Mega Crate is for the month. Which is a giant Groot statue, a Lego of, who is it? The Moana, the sh ship. The Blu-ray correct No, I can't English today. <laughs> and this is all staying in because I can care less about the which one call it. <laughs> uh, Marvel Cinematic Universe Phase 2 Blu-ray Collector Set. And a telescope. That's the May uh, Mega Crate a two thousand dollar value. So that's that, and on the back it says, We heart you. Alright. One of the other things that was in there was this little pamphlet for their little treasure hunter thing, of which I don't know. I'm not one that really knows that stuff. But on to the other stuff. So the shirt that came out of the little box is a Goonie shirt. Goonies never say die. Great shirt. Great movie. Uh, actually, I think it was a series of movies, if I remember. I think there was more than just one. I think there was probably like four in the Goonies franchise. But Goonies is great. Me and my friends loved it, especially... Well, I would say my friend's little brother hated it because he was a bit on the childhood of BC side. And we always made him do the uh, truffle shuffle. That's off the record, but... Oh, well. So the other thing that was inside the little box was... Colored pencils. And a sharpener on top. And now you may ask yourself, why? Well, <laughs> Star Wars coloring book, and this is way out of my league. This is not for, okay, this is for gifted five-year-olds. But this is not for regular five-year-olds. Like, if we flip through it, this is intricate stuff. Like, this Yoda picture right here. That's intricate. You have to really know some good stuff to do it. Oh, it looks even in it too, and you notice that. And then, of course, on the back, old Ben Kenobi. But I probably might give this to my sister in law because she loves coloring, she loves doing all things artistic. So, that's that. And then we also have. Ah. The statue of the month. Rocket Raccoon. Rocket Raccoon. Wow. Rocket Raccoon. And Baby Groot. With Raccoon with a smoking gun. Now, I took it out only because... Well, it didn't say limited edition or specific for loot box. So, that means there's plenty more out there with these in the world. I think they could be made just about easily. So I'm not too worried about it depreciating value because it's outside of its box. Next was the Loot Collector's Pin of the Month for May, which is Guardians. And this month is Ang. Nice little Lupin. And his eyes... Oh, I can't do anything. His eyes and his arrow in his head glow in the dark. Fantastic. <laughs> awesome. And one of the last things, which I showed this to my buddy, and he absolutely wants to kill me. Because the main reason I got this box, 
and the DX and the gaming box for Loot Crate for this month is because it's Destiny. <laughs> There's Destiny stuff inside these boxes. So, the Destiny stuff for this box... Oops. Three patches for Titan, Warlock, and Hunter. Now, he said... My buddy told me, you better give me the Hunter badge. Not happening. Sorry. <laughs> and the reason why the box looks like a jumbled up mess is because, very awesomely, you can make a ghost out of it. <laughs> it's it, it doesn't really look that great, but they pretty much say it's to scale for a Guardian, so I guess this is how big your ghost is technically in real life. But this is pretty cool. It took me a good 10 minutes to get everything out because I was really scared that I was going to rip it horribly. And then when doing the back side of this, um, I figured out that I followed the front side wrong because the front side had all these points everywhere. <laughs> I didn't know you could fold them inside. So, there's, from what I know from the book, there are three different versions of this ghost. You have the Dread Explorer shell, which is this one. You have the General shell, which is the one that you get from the beginning of the game, which is pretty much vanilla Dinklebot. And then you have the current iteration of the Crucible shell. So, all in all, there's three different versions of this ghost that you can get from that box. But... I actually wanted to do a opening of all three of my Loot Crates, the Loot Crate Regular, the Loot Crate DX, and the Loot Crate Gaming. Um, if I pay attention to anything, I didn't know that the Loot Crate Gaming doesn't get here until maybe sometime next week. But the one thing I was worried about for Loot Crate DX was, and I guess this is for everyone that got DX, is it's currently on hold per se I'm not really sure I have their email I don't really feel like looking it up <laughs> so I'm lazy that way but it's kind of on hold it's going to be coming out the same time as the Loot Crate Gaming so you're going to get it uh, sometime soon but other than that I think this is going to have to be able to do my Loot Crate unboxings um, if anything um, well yeah, well, the only reason why I got this Loot Crate was just because Destiny. <laughs> That's the only reason. I'll get other Loot Crates if it's something that I like really like. Um, like, if they do another Loot Crate that has Deadpool on it, I will go with that immensely. If it has uh, something like a Need for Speed box, I will definitely do that. At some point, I plan on getting the Firefly Mega Crate. Only because it's a cult classic show. It only got one season. It was so worth. And also Nathan Fillion is the voice of Cade. <laughs> but other than that, they did great. I actually like the stuff from Loot Crate. I might try another couple of uh, loot boxes. Like, there's one I kind of want to try only because I'm a little bit of a gym rat. Uh, is if everyone, if anyone reads the About Me, I the Ninja Warrior stuff, I uh, train on that. I go uh, bouldering and do that just to get myself ready for Ninja Warrior. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to compete in the last couple of years only because work got in the way and work was something I really needed. Um... Because when I fell on hard times, I was homeless, and work. I figured out work is something that I really needed to get done. And then I also did. Uh, I also went back to school. But enough about that. <laughs> so for Little Crate, I want to thank More Console for letting a bunch of the Destiny community know about. The uh, Loot Crate was Destiny-related. And that's about it. 
So hopefully I'll be getting more videos to this channel on a steady stream. Um, I'll most likely be pulling stuff out of my stream. So if the quality is meh, then it's because it's coming from Twitch. <laughs> so, all right. Have a good night, everyone. And I'll see you when the DX and Gaming Loot Box get here.